And hello and welcome back to another mind test gameplay of sorts. And this is on the uh, Creative Usage series. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to talk about lights today. Um, last episode was in this series was about uh, different creative items on chairs and uh, other stuff. This one's going to be on what lights I use for my builds. All right, let's go. And if you like what you see here, please consider liking and subscribing. It is greatly appreciated. Now, basically, we all have to use lights in our, um, in our mind test builds. So I created this scaffolding, like a stage kind of deal. I think it looks cool. All right. So you want to put some lights in your build. Um, one of the creative ways that I found out or found inspiration from, wow, speech again is optional, uh, is using these grates with either glow lights or thick glow lights the white ones or the uh, glowstones underneath them. Now we don't have we don't have like um, where the lighting and the shadows actually you know give off, so they it would be coming out of these holes. But it is an easy way of hiding lighting and lighting up an area. So if you had a window, or in some of my builds you'll see windows across here, or these outlining the perimeter of the build, it works. Another way to hide some lighting is in a plant. Now I, I use I use this plant. Where'd it go? It's over there. I've used this plant before. Right there. Looks cool. But what I did is I used the circular circular saw to cut those panels and then you know hit them around a glow uh, a glowstone. See what that is. Yeah. Blocks glowstone. Now all the, um, everything that I'm showing here, all the mods will be listed in the show description. And most of this stuff comes from, uh, the, uh, <laughs> the dream builder pack. Wow. Okay. So let's take a look at some of this cool stuff. This is a chandelier I used in one of my most recent builds. It's a contemporary chandelier um, throughout. I've seen these for the past 20 years. Um, it's just wrought iron fences. And it, it, you can use any type of fence here. It doesn't have to be the wrought iron. It can be jungle wood, aspen, pine. They all work the same way. They all come out. And then I just use small glow cubes on top of them. And here we have uh, chains. This was also in Dream Builder. And this comes in brass. And there is brass poles. So there. And there's also an extension chain. So you don't have to have it this high. If you have real high ceilings, you can actually keep putting chain links. Um, you can put more multiple chain links in. So here's hanging, here's more hanging chains. These hang differently. Uh, let's use, let's go over here real quick. So you can't just place this first because anything you place after it, like let's say another chain, it won't work. It'll drop all the way down here. So what you have to do, I found out, is you have to add, you have to use like Anything else. Um, you know, it would help if I had something else. We're going to use that. Yeah. Because what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put your chain. Now watch it don't work. You're going to want to put your chain and whatever you're hanging off of it. Wow. All right. I want to hang those two. Now, I, I remember what I did on the uh, castle build. You notice that that's flush. 
So I come in here and now I can add my chain piece. It connects up, delete this one and add my upper one. So now you see how it all connects. And that looks rather cool. I've done that before too. But that's the quirk with adding these chains. First you have to add this part and then you have to work backwards. So that's this one. I really like this one. This one, this one is one of my favorite light builds because it's very simple. It looks really good. You can use the lattice small cubes. You could, you could put small cubes on the bottom of this one. There's a lot of different things that you can do with it. Now, moving right along, here's these are like the stock ones that come with uh, Home Decor and Dream Builder. And this one is the new torch that's in uh, Mindtest 0.4.16. And the reason for this is that this gives off more light than the standard torch, I've been told. So if you, for people that grow crops and survival underground and they use um, torches to light so it, it grows the crops at all times, that don't, they don't do that anymore. You have to use one of these. And this is real sleek looking, even though it's in wood, but it works. Here's like a little pathway light. That's real cool. A uh, hanging light, I use this a lot in my builds. I need darkness. Thank you. <laughs> you got some lava lamps, which are dyeable. So you can, you can, um, if you, if you spell dye correctly, you can change these to, uh, different colors. So let's change this red one to purple. And I think we'll leave it purple because that looks really, really sharp. And remember, if you have dye in your hand, like these blocks are dyeable. And you'll have a hard time and it'll be messy. These lights also, um, they're for, uh, part of the home decor. And they turn off and on. But these lights here, you guessed it, are dyeable. And they're four-way lights. So you can, whatever you like, I mean, if you like purple... Um, I don't think that looks good for that. Let's go back to white. But you, you can dye them any color that's in the dyes. So that works out really, really good. And there's a, an old time lantern. I just threw that in there. So we got all that. We have the standard, uh, standard torch. And then we have the real cool, uh, home decor torch. And then we have a contemporary, like, kitchen light. Or, you know, dining room light. I use that a lot. Um, moving right along. Here's where, here's where I like to build my own stuff. Now, using the glass panes, I like to create little different designs for lighting. Here's one over here where it, I, don't, I didn't build this high enough. But it's got a, uh, it's got a little glow gem. And I use two. I use clear, gray blue you can use any color you like and you can get real creative of what you put down here and how big you want it so if you have a real tall ceiling you could put different levels down here tapering off you know getting smaller here and you, you can go crazy with it so that's really cool uh to build moving right along we touched on all that here is a street lamp. I use this over by the, um, the tree house in the park that I built. That looks really good. However, sometimes the color scheme is a little bit off. And over in my glass house, it just didn't fit. So I built my own. How do you build your own? You use a fence post, a uh, wrought iron pole from Home Decor, wrought iron fence post. You can use wood. You can use any, you know, any fence you want. You can keep it all fence or do like I did to make it slimmer to match this. This is concrete and gray. 
And then I just put a small cube on top of it. You could put a lattice cube, um, a, a, a glow cube. You could put a candle. <laughs> you could put you could put anything you want on there. So sometimes the ones that come with this came from the street lamps or the street streets mod, uh, which is in Dream Builder also or separate. You can get it separate. All the all the mods that are in Dream Builder you can get separate. However, the ones in Dream Builder are, they're tweaked to work together better, and they're updated. It the they're updated a little bit differently. They they work. And the, the other ones work too. Um, but getting all the mods in one place, instead of updating 50 mods, you can update one and it'll work. So, you know, it's up to you. Uh, yeah, I, I do this a lot. For a little path lighting, I'll use something like this. Um, this one does leave a little gap, which is hardly noticeable, but depending on how you use it, this is meant to be a ceiling lantern and which I have over there. I got to get around to it. So up here, there it is. There it is right there. You can see the chain hanging and you got to do the same trick with the chain, but tell me that does not look cool. Hanging from, a uh, anywhere mainly a medieval type place or an older, you know, the log cabin. I'm, I'm thinking about going back and putting these in the log cabin with the chains. I think that would look uh, really good. Here's a variation on the, um, on the wrought iron fence. I used candles. Of course, you don't want to have this close to a ceiling. You might want to go down a little bit, but this is different if you want to build your own compared to this one. You may not like the look of this one. This one comes in brass or wrought iron. So all these are alternatives or what you can do instead of. Now this looks really good, but in some cases you may not want to use that and you may want to completely build your own. And we got you covered. There's thick candles, thin candles, candle, um, wall sconce candles, there you go. Candle on a stick. Everything tastes better on a stick. <laughs> so <laughs> that works. And let's see what else do we have. Oh, the very first time I saw this, I caught inspiration for this on Vanessa E's Creative Silver Server Silver. Oh, this is my own variation of this with a pod light on. At work, I actually we actually have something similar to this. Um, on Vanessa E's creative server, I saw this and was completely blown away on how to do a street light. And all it is, is a wooden fence. Again, you can use any type of fence you want. And this light is from the mod of mod eye lights. And it's in the, it's in the show description. These eye lights are really cool because they're colorable. You can dye them. However, I do not like to use this all the time. I do use that, that design, and the inspiration from that server was really cool. Here's a version that I use in my builds. I use wrought iron or I'll use a wood with this top light on or without the top light on, just creating, you know, the four lights. You can also get real crazy, and if you really wanted to, you can put lights everywhere on this thing. You may want that. You may not. But you can do it. There you go. Yeah. And it's the same thing with the other one I have. Um, with the one that I use. I, I've put lights on top. So this is a really cool street light build. And this is my version of the same street light. It's the same thing. I just changed the light. And that's, you can change the lights to whatever you want. You know, it, it doesn't matter. You can, you can get real creative. You can put a trap door on top um, and make it look like it's got a little shroud over it or something. Um, this one I have not had too much success with. 
right here. This is from the Streets Mod, and it's a pole. And mainly it's used to hang a traffic light off of. So if you go into the Streets Mod, you can see here there's traffic lights. Um, there's, there's different... Did I miss something? Oh, there's a pole there too. See, that's where that lamp came from. Uh, traffic light turn right. I wonder what that does. Oh yeah. Watch this. Let's let's put it on here. And it it didn't work. I did something wrong. I don't know what I just. That's way wrong. <laughs> so. <laughs> but. I've put glow lights and other things on here so you can get real. Are you going to do me like that? I've done, it's sort of like the pipe, the pipe mod or pipes. So you can go, you can do something real creative with this to add lights and come back down. So I, I do like that. Here's a variation. Here's a cube light that I hung from a chain. You got, kind of like a throwback or a, I don't know, like a 60s, 70s style house. That would look really good in it. And it'll work on any, you know, the, any of the cube lights. Even this one over here, which is one of my favorite um, stained glass. I've used this before too, where it's just a cube, whatever cube you want to put in, you could use it. You could use the lattice. Um, you can use the small or the large glow lights. And then you just put one thing around each side. And you can even, you know, be creative. Change the colors up. One side's blue, one side's uh, gray. You know, you can, or you can have blue, gray, white, blue. It, it, it's whatever is up to your imagination. I mean, it, I know I keep saying that, but... That's how you, you figure you figure things out. You figure something out that that works. And you know n this wasn't intended to work this way, nor this or or this. But you stumble upon that for inspiration, and that's you know that'll that's how you figure and, and use these things to your advantage in your builds to make them to make them more uh, unique and more interesting because. Anybody can throw a light out, you know, anybody can go back and, you know, you could throw one of these pre-made lights out and, there, and I'm, there's nothing wrong with these lights. I use them all the time, but when you, when you use them over and over and over again, you go, eh, I really don't want to use that. I know I can dye them. I know I can do this. I want to try something different. And that's when you come up with these other fits of inf inspiration and you know, somebody else coming on the server or looking at that goes, wow, how'd you do that? I never thought about using that like that. And that's, that's what I, I like to strive for. Here's the, here's those eye lights with, um, cyan, yellow, green, magenta, orange, red, green, blue dye. And what, one of the things that I thought was really cool is because this, this structure looks like a stage structure. So if you wanted to build a stage and you could put different colored lights on, the only problem is, is that these lights do not give off like the, whatever tint that they are. It's all in the white lights. Oh, that's peaking. That's something else I'm working on. A trellis. I saw somebody else build it and I wanted to try it. That's for next time. And there's, there's an highlight. These highlights are cool because they fit like an industrial build or a warehouse or a factory or even a basement. I mean, you see those all over the place. A ship has those kind of guards around those lights. And then we come back to my favorite lights. Here's a thin glow light from Home Decor. Here's the same light, but recessed. And here's my favorite recessed lighting can with a bulb and glass a glass tabletop on it here's the same one over here you see how different they look just by adding one little element
and it, it works out really cool. And somebody's using a power tool in the background. Lovely. But, um, yeah, these are, I use these lights. And this, there's nothing wrong with this sitting on like a bathroom or a kitchen or anything like that. But then you can get as classy as you want. The, um, this is one of my favorite type of way of adding lighting. And that's backlighting something using a, a stair and then using glow lights or these uh, thick glow lights behind here and using that on a shelf and it's a way of hiding lighting that accents the area I use that a lot and then one of my other favorites is under a stove when I use a grate, there's a light hidden in there. So it's a way to add lighting of wherever you're working. You can see this whole area is lit up. And it's it's really cool. So if I take that out, you can see it changed. And I got so many lights on over here. Um, it's not funny. But in in America, we have these uh, we have these places like Home Depot and Menards. Menards is notorious for this. Builder Square, Lowe's, they're hardware stores. And usually anywhere in these hardware stores, um, there's going to be a lighting department where they have, you know, hanging lights and dining room lights and any kind of lights that, you know, you could find. And they have them all over in one corner of the store, all hanging from the same area. And I kid you not, it's like 110 degrees in this area. You will get a suntan when you walk into this area. So I, I think Ikea has something like that. You know, they have, they have a section where there's, there's lights, but they're mostly showroomy. But, you know, a lot of places will, they'll put all the lights in the same area. So, again, this is all for inspiration, and it's all to... Wow. Cool glitch. But getting back to the scaffolding... I wanted to create like a concert stage. I, and I wish those lights gave off the hue of the different colors, but um, it looks cool. And I'm going to start the area, and you want to light it up with, uh, with some green, you know, shrubbery or something. Hide a glowstone in it. Really? It'll work. And I've even gone as far as, you see that table design with, the, uh, with, the, with that underneath it? I've hidden lights in these and it has turned out, see, is it going to give it to me? If I, if I pick, if I pick the right thing, it will work really. So I've hidden lights inside like tables and it just, it gives it, it just makes another interest point. So if you come around here, there's a, there was a clear one on there. That's why, that's why I did that. And we can take, let's get rid of the, even though the rock is a great idea. This is a way to, I mean, just really go, really go all out. Oh, that looks, that looks beautiful. One, one panel out of all of them. If you want to make a pattern, that, that would be good, but it's uh, not what I was going for. So you can, you can actually light something from underneath. And it, it works. It's a way of hiding lighting. Um, this also works for tables. Uh, not only like these tables, but like a coffee table or something like that, where you could have lighting underneath the ground. You know, you go one more block down, add your lighting, and then put your table base around it. And that would work. There you go. So then we take our we take our tabletop. Isn't that cool? Now this you know, a lot of this depends on whether or not you build in 
like you make sure that on your floors you're using double double floors and stuff so like i said that only that's only going to work if if you use um if you make your builds with uh double floors or like you want to use double ceilings stuff like that now that sunk which is fine because you can always add something on top of that like a centerpiece and i i do that i i do that occasionally but look how cool that looks and that's that's recessed so if you were just walking along and this was just normal flooring there you go that's a way of lighting something and adding an accent accent touch to it so there uh, i'm in the wrong there we go now i'm back let's get a suntan here but th these are these are all the light that i use and i try to use different lighting in each build just to stay unique and just to satisfy my own um even if nobody ever sees it i like using these these uh cave realms crystal cubes a lot hi horsey and uh and i still use as you saw look at that cave isn't that cool shiny <laughs> I mean, I use, I use, I use these lamps a lot. Uh, these make great desk lamps. I don't use the oil lamp. I, don't, I really don't like how that looks, but there may be a use for it in a barn. Um, I do use these in my dining, my kitchenettes type deal. And I use these and I use these for pathway lighting. And occasionally I'll use that, but there you have it. Uh, a quick uh, a quick video along the series of how I creatively make things and how I use them and um, different ways that you could use the same techniques in your builds just to make them that bit of more interesting or to your liking. Because that's why we build this stuff is because, well, for one, I won't, all my builds, I, I like or I delete them. So, it first has to please me before I make a video about it and put it out there. And this is a cool, I'm, I'm going to have to remember this. Look at the scaffolding in between two ceilings. And then if you came up, you know, you came up on top and you could, well, while I'm in here, you could use, um, there's that table and there's another one. There's fraud here. Here we go. So if you went on top here and you threw down to make it weatherproof or you threw down, look at that. Look at, we found something new. That is totally cool. So we have the, we have the glass ones here and we have the frosted glass ones here. And if we go down, I like the glass ones better, but I can see the usage for the, um, the frosted ones. There you go. There's another quick tip. So you can have realism. So you could have two ceilings joined. You get like, let's say you're, you're trying to join different textures. And ever since I, the, the, you know, these architects and everything else came up with this, uh, oh, no connected textures. You can't have connected textures. They, they do look like crap um, when you meet one texture to another. So that's why, you know, on, the, on, on cottages and on log cabins, my log cabin, you'll see that overhang there. Because so you won't have that connected wood with stone texture, uh, except for the very ends, which are open and meant to be like that. So you could, let's say you were going from uh, spruce wood to hardened clay. And it just didn't look right. You could add these steel supports with glass and create a real cool skylight. There you go. Learn something new every minute. <laughs> so <laughs> there you have it. So I want to thank you for uh, joining me. And I hope you liked the video and, and, you know, at least picked one thing out of it. If not, uh, if you already knew this stuff, then uh, please share and uh, go from there. So 
Thanks again for watching. Everybody have a fantastic day. We'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.